Uh, hi, hi, everyone. Uh, how are you doing today? Um, this is Ben again. Uh, first of all, I would like to start off by saying um, uh, to those who have been watching uh, the videos, uh, thank you very much uh, for the views and the um, the likes and um, the subscriptions. I really appreciate it. Um, I would like to say that, uh, keep in mind, this is a mission um, to learn about organizations that already exist that could help minorities, um, you know, uh, learn learn STEM and, you know, do good things in the STEM field, um, whether it's scholastic or professional. And um, I'm learning with you. This is I'm learning. I am uh, into technology. I'm a programmer. I am uh, working to be a machine learning scientist right now. Um, uh, but I wanted to educate myself on the um, the the field of, of you know uh, the philanthropy the, the the people who already are doing the things that I want to do for the community and um, finding tons of them and I'm just basically educating myself um, as I am sharing it with the world so um, thank you for taking this ride with me and um, I don't know everything I'm just finding things and relaying it to you as well so that being said, um, this is a, another organization review, and uh, this one was um, a really big one, and uh, I learned a lot, and uh, it surprised me. And uh, it's 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 too much to cover in just one video, um, so uh, I'm going to just give you the highlights of what I found, and uh, and I need more time to dig into it to myself. And the organization is the National Association of Mathematics, NAM, right? Um, <clears throat> it was founded in 1969. And their mission, uh, as uh, stated on their website, is um, a, uh, the National Association of Mathematics is a nonprofit professional organization in the mathematical sciences with a membership open to all persons interested in the mission and purpose of NAM, which are promoting excellence in mathematical sciences and promoting mathematical development of all underrepresented minorities, right? Okay, so um, first of all, I'm a student at Morgan State University and this organization is directly tied to Morgan State University. And um, it's a very um, cherished uh, 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 institution to say the least. Um, and I'm going to read you some things I found about it. I found out about it on the internet, um, and I'll tell you the sources where I found it from too. So if you wanted to check it, you could you could check it yourself. Um, okay, so uh, it was it's a it's a uh, website named Math History, right? Math MathHistory.StAndrews.ac.uk/societies/nam. Okay. So this is what uh, they quoted about this organization, NAM, okay? Um, the origin of the National Association of Mathematics was the informal Black and Third World Mathematicians group led by Johnny Houston and Scott Williams, which met at the American Mathematical Society meeting in New Orleans on Sunday, 26 January, 1969. Okay, John, Johnny Houston writes that the group discussed, where do we go from here as a group, as, po as possibly an organization, and as a positive force that will make a difference in the mathematical science, science community in the USA, and indeed in the world. The force would be, this force would be clear and omnipresent voice for issues, ideas, perspectives, and, pers and for persons that did not enjoy such a voice in the past. This force would advocate inclusion and not exclusion. This force would sit around the conference tables and the banquet tables of the mathematical services community and not permit itself to be isolated or separated from the mainstream. This force's ultim ultimate mission to promote excellence in the mathematical sciences and to promote mathematical development of underrepresented American minorities. In April 1969, Walter Talbert, perhaps the main driving force in the early years of the association's development, 
organized a meeting at Morgan State College, which provide which was proved very important in the founding of the National Association of Mathematics. Talbot was the director of the Mathematics Curriculum Conference financed by the Ford Foundation. So you have to understand it's like 1969 and um, the same thing that we're talking about now that we wanna do as far as, uh, you know, spread the word, spread the, uh, the word about the importance of um, STEM um, fields. That's what they were doing in 1969 right, um, plotting on it, and they're still around today, and they give nice size grants to organizations um, who are trying to, uh, you know, um, uh, assist, you know, them with their mission, right, so uh, I really want to dig more into this organization, um, but, you know, for the sake of the, the time, the, the length of this video, I do not, you know, um, I have to kind of keep it um, you know, as, as, as streamlined as I can. I love to talk, but I know people don't want to listen for, for more than 10 minutes. It's just what we just how humans are built, right? So, um, okay, who do they serve? Uh, to engage in activities, pro um, to engage in activities, projects, programs, conferences, workshops, seminars, which are designed to inspire, motivate, promote, and assist persons of all ages. So basically, they it, it's not like one group of people. They help a, a, a lot of people right because right there of, of all ages and you know, a professional development of uh, uh, of practicing mathematical scientists and educators especially those groups that are underrepresented in the mathematical sciences right and then historical black colleges and universities and minority serving institutions and then it just says underrepresented minorities so it, it's kind of like um they they assist anyone that will help them with their mission kind of sort of is what their mission statement was and if you actually read about who they serve and it's pretty much like um it's not like just children it's not just like professionals it's just not like school people it's like uh a catch-all right if you're a minority and you are interested in um you know promoting mathematics and if you're a good mathematician you know they're willing to um i guess help you out or provide services and information that you may acquire from them, uh, you know, uh, networking opportunities and such. Um, okay, so uh, another quote from um, uh, uh, the Math History uh, website in the UK, UK, right? So this is like, you know, another country, all right? Um, so uh, a quote from Terence Blackman, a professional at Medgar Evers College. Uh, NAM is important because its birth is rooted in an enduring question for African Americans in general for underrepresented mathematicians as a community. In particular, where do we go from here? For me, the response of those gathered there in 1969 echoes and resonates across the decades. We must promote excellence in the mathematical sciences in the United States and the world, and we must embrace our role as a voice for issues, ideas, perspectives, and for persons that did not enjoy such a voice. We must aim to be a part of the mainstream and to be advocates for inclusion. We must be advocates for all who desire to learn mathematics and to contribute to the community of mathematical sciences. So as you can see, it's like, you know, um, their mission is cut and dry, right? Um, African-American mathematicians need to be included, right? Not excluded, N not to be set aside, right? As a separate group of a freak show of smart black people, right? It was kind of like, no, black people can be just as smart as anyone else when it comes to mathematics. And why should we not expect to be, in, you know, included, right? So you yeah, understand this is like, you know, 1969, you know, uh, when, when they, when they were founded, you know, um, so it, it wasn't as easy to, to, to speak of such things, you know, um, at, at, you know, earlier times in the history of this country, right? Um, you know, so uh, you have to understand there was, there's a uh, element of bra element of bravery there, right? So, um, you know, that, that's, that's something I, I, will, I would like to highlight. Okay. Well, um, Here's their website, right? 
And um, let's see. Programs and activities. Let me see what they're doing. Upcoming activities. Okay. Um, well, you know, you, you know the year we just had, right? So, you know, uh, a lot of things are um, that were canceled last year, but they have um, the sessions of press presentations of recent doctoral recipients, and um, they have uh, lectures, right, and panel discussions of uh, you know uh, great. Um, a lot, you know, living, breathing African Americans who are really good uh, at what they do, really good at their skill of, you know, applying, you know, mathematics, you know, uh, teaching mathematics, uh, all, all those types of things. And um, they have the newsletter, um, no doubt. Um, they're, of course, they're a national organization. That I want to say that they are. Uh, the headquarters are, are in um, is in Tallahassee, Florida. Uh, uh, the source of that was a zoominfo.com. Um, but uh, if you if you go through the links, you'll see that they have um, activities all over the country, right? Uh, you know, look, they have a math fest, right? Um, uh, they have uh, an event called the Compu Computational Science Institute, right? Um, uh, they have, uh, it looks like a, another math fest, uh, an AM undergrad math fest, right? And um, regional uh, faculty conference on research and teaching excellence. Um, and uh, so, you know, so as you can see, uh, if we leafed, if we leafed through this site, we probably could find, um, Tons of other uh, activities that they that they have, and is so here is another organization, right? That is alive and well, and it deserves um, our attention and our volunteerism and our donations, right? And um, and uh, we should not take this lightly. Um, we should actually um, try to. You know, at, at least, at least, if, if they if they offer services for free and some, it, you know, Google is a chapter of NAM uh, in your area. And if you think your children or someone around you or yourself may need their services, you know, go down there and see if they offer free services. Maybe a free lecture, catch a lecture. Maybe you learn something. Maybe it's something to spark your 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 love for math, right? Um, and they can't do nothing but help you, right? In 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 this world today. Technology is a a great um, uh, uh, way to a, a great field to go looking for a job, right? Because they, you know, they're always looking for scientists to program something, to build something, to engineer something. That, you know, never sh a shortage of jobs there. And if you're good at math, then you know, um, you know, you'll, you'll easily uh, pick up the skills in such fields, right? Because most of the time when we don't do very well in in such STEM fields. It's because of the math, right? You know, and and that's the issue. You know, uh, most most if you think back, most of the cool science classes that you were in, you wanted to do the experiments, you wanted to um, learn how to program the computer. But then, as soon as someone writes an equation on the board, you're like, no, I don't want to do this anymore. And that's the issue. And that's what we're trying to um, um, solve. Try to demystify. You know, uh, simplify um, the topic, so you know uh, not only we can learn it, but like it and want to learn it, right? Um, so, well, that being said, uh, thank you for listening, and um, uh, I hope to see you guys again in another video shortly. Um, and uh, thank you for watching my videos. Uh, you guys be safe and. Um, have a great day.